This video introduces you to Salesforce My Domain. My Domain lets administrators create subdomains within the Salesforce domain. When you create a subdomain with My Domain, it's like having your own URL to your Salesforce org. This allows you to customize the behavior of Salesforce for unauthenticated users. My Domain enables such features as redirecting to your single sign-on server, providing single sign-on for all your apps with the SAML identity provider, working in multiple Salesforce orgs at the same time, and adding your own branding to login. Having multiple subdomains lets you log in to multiple Salesforce instances at the same time, where each subdomain has its own branding. Salesforce uses subdomains. For example, Help and Trailhead are subdomains of Salesforce.com. And a Salesforce subdomain called My is where all My Domain subdomains go. So when you create a My Domain on your production org, the URL is your subdomain name dot my dot salesforce dot com. And when the Get Cloudy Consulting Company creates the Get Cloudy Consulting subdomain, its My Domain URL is https colon slash slash getcloudyconsulting.my.salesforce.com. Technically, you're creating a subdomain, but you'll hear it called a My Domain domain for short, or the even shorter My Domain. If you want to use a lot of the latest Salesforce features, you need to set up a subdomain with My Domain. It's required before you can create custom Lightning components, use Salesforce APIs to integrate your data, customize your financial services cloud, or use the Salesforce Optimizer. In fact, setting up My Domain is the first step in migrating Salesforce to Lightning Experience. When you begin a hands-on challenge in Trailhead, the first thing that happens is that you create a Trailhead Playground, which is created as a My Domain subdomain. All Playground subdomains start with something cute, like an animal name, in this case, Resourceful Panda, some random numbers to ensure uniqueness, and then dash dev dash ed, which means that the subdomain is in a Salesforce developer org. When tracking the health of your org on the Salesforce Trust site, you can enter your My Domain name. OK, now let's see how easy it is to set up My Domain in a new org. Click the gear icon and choose Setup. Type My Domain in the Quick Find box. You'll see that the My Domain wizard opens to the first step, and you can create your subdomain in just four steps. First, you pick a name for your subdomain. Usually, it's the name of your company or organization. The subdomain has to be unique across all Salesforce orgs, so you might need to get creative if your company's name is a common one. We'll enter Get Cloudy Consulting in the box. Notice the rest of the URL. It contains the dash dev dash ed because this is a developer org. If we were setting up my domain in a production org, the URL would end in .my.salesforce.com. We'll check its availability. Yep, we're good to go. We click register domain to start the process of creating the subdomain. Behind the scenes, we're setting up the subdomain for you and within a few minutes, you'll receive an email telling you that it's ready for testing. Checking the email. Looks like our My Domain email has already arrived. To get back to setup, you can click the link in your email. Or if you're still logged in, you can just head back to setup and search for My Domain again in the Quick Find. Now you're at step three. Your subdomain is registered. You can see your new subdomain in the URL at the top of the browser. Right now, you're the only one who has this URL. If you were setting up My Domain in an existing org, this is where you'd configure other My Domain related features and roll it out to a pilot group of users. They should check that no links are broken. If you've made any customizations, like custom buttons or Visual Force pages, there might be some hard coded links to your instance name. It's bad coding practice, but it does happen. We'll assume all is OK and click Login to continue the setup. 
Then we click Deploy to Users. Deploying rolls out your My Domain to the rest of your users. Now all your users will see the subdomain URL in their browser address bar. You see we have deployed our subdomain with our new URL and a new My Domain Settings section. Now let's take a look at what you can do with your My Domain. My Domain Settings is where you can control how you want users to log into Salesforce. The first thing is prevent login from https colon slash slash login.salesforce.com. A lot of Salesforce admins like to keep this login policy unchecked because it's a quick way for users to get to Salesforce. But you can choose to disable it if you want to make sure your users log in strictly through their My Domain URL. Next, you can set a redirect policy. Since this is a new org, we won't need to choose one. But if our My Domain was added to an existing org, you may want to redirect user bookmarks, in which case you might choose one of these options. This redirect policy is intended for handling the transition so your users can get used to using the My Domain URL. You can tread softly and select Redirected with a warning to the same page within the domain. Their old bookmarks still work. Then you can get tough and set don't redirect to force the My Domain URL. Click Redirect to the same page within the domain, and your users can log in either from your My Domain or Instance URL. Save your changes. Now that you've set up your new subdomain, it's time to brand the login page the users see when they log into Salesforce. Click Authentication Configuration and Edit. Add your logo and colors to the login page to help your users recognize your site without squinting at the URL in the browser bar. You can even brand the right frame of the login page. Enter a URL to your content. Or a good use of this space is for making company announcements. We'll point to a branded image and save. With just a few clicks, we have a custom login page. Let's take a look. I'll log out. When I log in again, the login page should be branded. Yep, here's the updated corporate logo, background color, and the customized content on the right side of the login page. So in a few quick steps, you've created your own My Domain subdomain, complete with your own logo and content. You can see that the login page now handles forgotten passwords. Yes, that's right. My Domain can handle those pesky password requests that interrupt your day. My Domain gives you other ways to control how your users log into Salesforce. In addition to entering their username and password, they can log in using a social identity provider like Google or Facebook. And you can even set up your login process to accept users' email addresses and phone numbers. For more information, see the following resources or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.